Hey guys, a big welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you another uh, tip. Hopefully it'll be useful to somebody out there in YouTube land. Um, figured I'd start off showing you my fish, saying hello to them. They're uh, always happy to see you guys. But let's move down here to the sump. What I've got today is a helpful tool for the sump. And many people out there have things like reef keepers or apex controllers and they will have leak detection modules for them. I don't have a reef keeper or anything like that. Uh, at this point I may look into getting one later on, although I don't really have that much in the way of, you know, equipment that would be really controlled by it. I know you can put your heater on it. Um, anyhow, so without all that, I, I did, uh, I had a leak actually a few, uh, about a week ago. It wasn't really a leak. It was uh, an error on my part, which was, if you look right here, this was not quite pushed down enough. I've got to kind of keep this angled. If not, if it's sitting up too high and the sock fills up, it actually overflows out down the side of there. And it actually was, water was pouring onto this here air pump, um, which made a horrible noise, which is how I found something had gone wrong. Um, and my top off unit had just kept dumping water in. Now, it's not a huge deal, it only maybe two gallons of water had poured out, but, you know, I, I couldn't help but think, oh, that sucks, you know, because I've, I've done it a few times now, and if you look here in the corner, it actually, it's damaging my stand, which, you know, I worked pretty hard making the stand, um, so I got to thinking about what I could do for that, and I remembered seeing something at Home Depot. And so I thought, well, okay, I'll go take a look and see. I didn't actually read about it. I just saw it there. And so I decided to take a trip out and have a look, see what it is. And or see how it worked and stuff. So here it is here. It's called a water alarm. And here's the unit, actually. I, I was going to do an unboxing, then I figured out it would be a hassle. So anyways, I just uh, already opened it. So that's the uh, package for it right there. And this is the actual unit. Um, so it's a pretty simple little unit. It runs on one 9 volt battery right in there. Just uh, pulls out, whatever. I'm sure you guys can see that. And we're going to put this little cover back on. And this unit will, it, it can be used a couple different ways once you put the cover back on. Try and get that in there. Um, anyhow, there we go. So you can, here's these little contacts right here, and the two ways that you can use it is one, just sit it just like that, which will do the trick. Or this comes off, and there is six feet of wire coiled up in there, it's all tied up or whatever with a zip twist tie, but it does come out six feet of wire, and it, then you can put the probe underneath if you uh, if you could get it underneath your stand or wherever you wanted and basically I've touched the terminals so this is the noise it makes if it's in the water if it gets wet or if you just short it out with your fingers but anyhow if I go like that and for ten dollars and forty four cents I don't think you can go wrong for that little bit of protection I'm just gonna sit it here I gotta dry it or else it's gonna uh, keep beeping, so just wipe it all on the carpet, because that's how I roll. Um, and then I'm just going to sit it right there, and that'll work. And now next time, it'll beep, and it says that it'll beep for about 24 hours on one battery. I believe that's what it said. Um, no, five days. Sorry, it'll I'll let you guys actually read the whole back of the pack in case you're interested. So, if you can pause it and read if you want, whatever. Um, uh, it's pretty simple anyway, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, you know what, maybe it'll save me a hassle one day, or you, um, I don't know what it's from, I got it from Home Depot in Canada, I imagine they're available in the U.S. as well, for the price of $10, you can't really go wrong if it, uh, alerts you to a leak once, then, you know, it's, it's done its job, and even if it doesn't, for $10, that a little bit of peace of mind where, you know, you... You hope that you will uh, be alerted? Good enough. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please be sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Once again, you can say goodnight to the fish. 
they're hanging out up there just watching me wondering what I'm up to. Hi guys. Just, yeah, come say hi. I tell you, these two wish I could pet them or something because they're like crazy friendly. If I got my hand in there, they love me. Anyway, have a good night guys.